everyone, it's Sherry. I hope that you are having a wonderful day. Y'all, today we're going to make something you didn't know you needed. Stay tuned. Welcome to my channel. I am so glad that you decided to stop by and welcome to all of my new friends and to all of my new subscribers. Welcome back. To all of my longtime friends and longtime subscribers, thank you all so much for the wonderful ways in which you support me and my channel. Today, we're going to make something that truly is for any season, any reason, anyone, but we're going to make ours for the Christmas season. And it's going to be one of those things that you really didn't know that you needed. So I'm going to flip to my overhead camera and show you just what I'm talking about. All right, y'all, so here's a closer look at what I'm talking about. When finished, this is six by six but it really is something that we can always use, especially when we want to give a gift or convey a message. So I've themed mine for Christmas and we're going to make one just like this one. And it opens like this. We have a cute little pocket here that you can tuck in a message or some gift cards or some cash. Then we have this little slider pocket here that we just tuck under. Y'all, this is so cute. I love this paper because it reminds me of the Grinch. I don't know why, I think it's just the colors, the green in it, but I love working with this paper. Then we open, we have a couple of pages where you can put a photograph here, this opens, and then you can write a little message here, here, or you can put some tiny photographs, whatever you want to put. And then on the back, I just added a little piece of ephemera. But this is so easy and so gorgeous. I think you're going to love it. So grab your favorite papers, grab some stickers or some cut aparts, and let's do it. All right, so here's another piece of that red, white, and green chevron paper that I've been working with. And what we're going to do is we're going to take this paper. It's 12 by 12. And we are going to fold in half. You can score this if you want, I'm not. Now that we have it like this, we're going to take it and fold that in half. And this is how we get our six by six folio. So now that it's like this, we're going to open it and we're going to cut in on the score mark here coming in from the side. So I'm going to bring in my trimmer. You can do this with your blade if you want. and I'm just going to cut. And so then your piece is going to look like this and we're just going to fold up like this and we'll take this end here and we're just going to fold it. Now how far down you decide to fold is completely up to you. So I'm just going to fold like that. I'm just going to take some tape, add some tape, and we're going to fold over. So now we have this and this and this. And so I have a piece of red 12 by 12 and I am going to cut three pieces at five and three quarters by five and three quarters. So then I'm going to take this and open it because I'm going to lay those three pieces, one here, one here, and one here. So let's just go ahead and add some tape to all three pieces. So we're going to take one piece and we'll put it in like that. So then we'll take the second piece, try to match that to that one. And then we'll take the third piece and place it in right there. So now when we close it, it's going to look like this. Pretty doggone neat. So then I have some scrap paper that I have actually messed up on. And we're going to use that scrap paper as the white matte paper for this. So now we're going to need two pieces that measure five and a half by five and a half. 
and one piece that measures five by five. So let's go ahead and just cut that five by five from here. And so now I'm going to take the two pieces that measure five and a half by five and a half, and we're going to place those down right there. So I'm going to go ahead and add tape to the backs of these, and you can see that I am using paper that I made a mistake on earlier, but I'm not throwing it away because I can always use the white side in the way that we are about to use it. So we'll take this one, put it down right there, and then we'll take this one, we'll place it right there. And now we can take this one and we're just going to use it as a nice little tuckable mat to go in here. But before we do, I am going to take just a little bit of glue and I'm going to place my glue on this side of the score mark. So I'm just going to run a small bead of glue not a lot, but I do want this to stay. So I am just going to make sure that I have that nice and stuck because what that's doing is it's giving us like a little book to this side of it. So we have this side. We now have this side. We can take this little mat and put it right in there. We can also tuck in cash or gift cards in there. And so then I have this cut apart page and I am just going to grab me a few cut aparts so that we can decorate. Let me just go ahead and remove some of this so that I can get to what I want. And a cut apart page is exactly what you see me doing here. It's just a graphic page that we can use to cut out different images. All right, y'all, so I think I've cut out enough cut aparts to be able to make this work. So what I want to do is I want to go ahead and do my cover first. So I am just going to add some tape to the back of this Merry Christmas. Then I am going to border it in white. And then you can place it in your trimmer if you want. I am just going to go ahead and cut this freehand with my finger blade. Let's go ahead and do this side as well. Then I'm going to grab a piece of the red because I want some of that red in the back. So we are going to add some tape to the back of this. And I'm going to take this piece and we'll border it in red as well. Then I'll take my finger blade and again, I am just going to freehand cut this. It will not be perfect, but that's okay. So there's that. We're going to take this and put it on the front. So I'll just add some more tape. And this will be my front. I think that's really pretty cute. Now I'm going to open it and I want to put something here. Again, I'm going to go with the dashing through the snow, but because it's already white, I am just going to add a little bit of a red border. And I really am keeping it very simple. I'm just using cut aparts and cardstock and decorative cardstock. Very, very easy. Now I'm just going to trim this out. And we'll cut across here to remove this. And now I'll add my tape. I'm going to take this and put it down like that. Super, super cute. And so now I'm going to take this piece and we're just going to put it right there. So I'm going to put it there 
using my glue and I'll take it, try to put it in the middle, let's get that nice and stuck. Then I'm going to put some glue right there. Get that stuck. And trim away. So there's that. And then I'm just going to take this naughty and nice add some tape to the back, put that right there, and then I'm just going to trim away to get my border. Again, if you're not comfortable freehanding, place it in your trimmer. Works just as well as anything that I'm doing here. I'm going to place that naughty and nice down like that. So I'm just going to take some glue, place my glue there, take the naughty and nice, and just put it down like that. Don't you think this is turning out to be super, super cute? Y'all, I really do. So now we're going to open it. And very simple what we're going to do here. We're just going to find a little something to put down to give it a nice Christmassy feel. So I'm just going to take my scissors and trim away this white. I'm going to add just a little bit of glue across the bottom because we're going to take this and when we put it down, we're going to put it down so that it sticks but you also have a place to tuck behind it. So we have that there, super duper cute. Then I think I'm going to take this one that says Merry and Bright, and we're going to put it there. Now in my other book, I actually cut this into sections and I put two pieces that were two and three quarters by two and three quarters down in the book. But this time I decided to put a whole piece down. So here's what I did here. I just cut out two pieces that were two and three quarters by two and three quarters and I placed them there. This time I put down a full five and a half by five and a half. That is the only difference. So now I'm going to take this piece that says Mary and Bright. We're going to put some glue on the back and I am going to place it right there because this would be a great spot to write a nice little message. So then on the back, I am going to take this one that says it's hot chocolate and warm cookie time, and I am just going to put it right there. And so now I can just take some of my cut aparts and tuck them under, and whoever gets this will see the beautiful messages that I've left here, as well as little messages that I have left here. Now on this one, I am going to take Merry Christmas, and we're going to put it right there and I'll tuck it in the pocket that way whoever gets it will know hey let me check this pocket to see what's in there might be some goodies so we're going to just put that in there and I'll tuck that there and now y'all we have another beautiful six by six folio card we can open it like this and in this pocket we have a place that we can tuck all types of goodies we have a tuckable spot right here we open we have a place for photographs here or tuckables, and you have a place to write a message or add photos, completely up to you. A lot of people ask, what do you do with these? Why would you make them? Because it really is a little mini photo book or photo album that you can send to someone. If you've had a special occasion or a special moment, why not make one of these to commemorate that special moment? Put some photos in here that are exclusive to you and that person, and that really personalizes the little folio. And then you can write down a little memory that you've had from that time together with that person and maybe a larger photo over here. So there are so many things that you can do. Just think of this as like a mini scrapbook card. So I'm going to bring this one back in so that y'all can see all of this wonderful Christmas goodness. 
And I hope that you'll give something like this a try. If you have liked this video, and y'all I certainly hope you have, please hit the like button. If you're not a subscriber to my channel, I'd love to have you join this amazing online crafting family. You guys, as always, please be safe, be kind, be the reason someone smiles today. Happy crafting, and we'll chat later. Bye.